In the face of growing threats of a two-front war against China and Pakistan, India is stepping up the modernization of its air force. It has now been revealed that India's indigenous fifth-generation stealth fighter jet program, the AMCA, may get a boost from the country's growing defense private sector. Defense Ministry has reportedly finalized the strategy to involve the private sector in the development of the AMCA project. The prototype of India's much-awaited fifth-generation stealth fighter aircraft is expected to be completed by 2028-29, our source has been quoted as saying. The design of the AMCA is ready. The prototype is expected to roll out by 2028-29 and the production is expected to begin from 2032-33. The target is to have ready for induction in 2034, a decade from project sanction. Now, India needs a proven fifth-generation stealth fighter to face the challenges from China, which has more than 200 J-20 fighter jets ready in its inventory, some of which have been deployed at the Shigatse Air Base in Tibet near Sikkim. We've done an in-depth report on this and we'll post a link in the description below. Even bankrupt Pakistan has finalized the deal and will be procuring the soon-to-be-ready FC-31 stealth jet from China. Now, this is worrying. The FC-31 is the same jet that is based on America's proven stealth jet technology, F-35. In the past, the USA has accused China of stealing F-35 secrets via cyber espionage. Even the J-20s are said to be influenced to a degree by the same stolen F-35 tech from America. It remains to be seen if India would buy proven fifth-generation jets like F-35 or Russia's Su-57 Falcon or Su-57 Checkmate. Meanwhile, the focus is on speeding up the development of the indigenous Anka Stealth Jet program. An official source of the Defense Ministry has said the model for the involvement of the private sector will be clear in the next six months. The Defence Ministry has already issued an expression of interest to the industry and three responses have been received. Earlier on the 7th of March, India formally joined the race to develop a fifth-generation stealth combat aircraft as the IF rushes to catch up to the likes of Turkey and South Korea, which are also developing their own indigenous fifth-generation fighters. This after the Cabinet Committee on Security gave a green light to the project for the design and engineering manufacture of the AMCA. Worth Rs 15,000 crore, rupees, the project was undertaken by the DRDO, the nodal agency, for executing this program. The public sector unit, the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, will be heading the manufacture of the prototype and subsequent production for the IAF. Five prototypes will be built for the IAF, before HAL begins manufacturing the aircraft after getting a nod from the Air Force. Government, on the other hand, is responsible for developing the ecosystem for indigenous technologies to be used in this stealth fighter jet program. The Indian Air Force has plans to induct 200 of these stealth jets and the first two squadrons will be powered by the GE-414 engines, the same as Tejas MK-1A jets. However, talks are ongoing with the likes of GE as well as French engine maker Safran for a more powerful engine for series production. So can AMCA be a game-changer for the IAF? Now, surely its stealth features will set the fifth-generation AMCA apart from India's existing fleet of fourth-generation and four-plus-generation fighter jets. The multi-role combat aircraft is designed for both air superiority as well as ground attacks. The main goal of the AMCA, like any fifth-generation fighter, is to be near-invisible to enemy radars, which is a function of the jet's minuscule radar cross-section. The idea is that AMCA would scatter radar waves instead of reflecting them back to the receiver. An internal weapons bay is a huge help and a leap in aircraft making capabilities as four long-range air-to-air missiles and multiple precision-guided munition can be accommodated within it with a payload of 1500 kilograms. The AMCA would be capable of super cruising and flying faster than the speed of sound without using fuel-guzzling afterburners on its engines. A source told Times of India, quote, Certain technologies that have to go in the AMCA will first have to be realized on the single-engine 4.5 generation Tejas Mark II. These includes sensor fusion, side-stick controller, canards and artificial pilot technologies. Now, artificial intelligence integration on the AMCA will enhance pilot aircraft interface, while active electronically scanned array or ASAR radars would be incorporated with an aim to outrange enemy jets by earlier detection and engagement of targets from a longer range. Amidst the looming threat of Chinese aggression, the IAF is experiencing a fighter jet shortfall with 31 squadrons currently against the sanctioned strength of 42. Already dwindling numbers of fighter jets are expected to go down even further in the future as squadrons of MiG-21s, MiG-29s and Jaguar will all be phased out before the end of this decade. The Indian Air Force has expressed the need for at least seven squadrons of the Anka 5th-generation stealth fighter. 
The big question remains, should India also import stealth fighter jets like the American F-35 or Russian Su-57 or should India just develop and focus its resources on the indigenous AMCA project? Leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to Infinite News for latest defense updates.